All right, guys, today we're gonna to be talking about when you should buy Chinese knives. Now, what I mean by this is that in the modern EDC community, there is a large influx, especially being promoted by many knife tubers of Chinese knives. Now, usually these are sold under the guise that they are high quality. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that these Chinese knives, such as the Wii, Civivi, and other brands are making low quality knives. I do own some Civivis, I've owned Kaisers, and Wii's throughout the year. I don't have any currently, but um, you know, I have had my fair share of Chinese knives. In fact, this one here, this Kershaw Emerson CQC6, is a Chinese made knife, and I would not be surprised if it was made in some of the same factories that the Wii's and Civivi's are coming out of. That's something we just don't quite know, and I think that is a, another discussion for another time um, about, you know, the whole Chinese knife scene, and I'll get more into it. But uh, anyways, Getting back to this knife right here, um, or just Chinese knives in general, when should you consider buying these knives? I think there are a few times where Chinese knives do make sense, and I'm not uh, like some of the, especially more staunch knife forum guys that are like, never support the Chinese people, never support, you know, any of these Chinese knives, always buy American. Because I think, irregardless to whether you buy a Chinese knife or not, uh, so many knife companies even custom people like uh, Gavco Knives or Michael Gavick uh, himself, you know, they, you know, make Chinese or they partner with companies like we to make Chinese knives. So I think, you know, even if you do support a custom maker, there is likely a chance that some, at some point, some of your money will go to Chinese knife manufacturing just because it's so prevalent. And whether we like that or not, it's just the way the cookie has crumbled, so to speak. So, you know, without going too far off the rabbit trail, when should you buy a Chinese knife? Uh, for me, I like to think of it like this. I think that when the price, the build quality, and the materials all align, I do think that a lot of these Chinese knives can offer good value. And I think that that's really what it comes back to, you know, the materials, the build quality, and the price all being, um, you know, a at a good or right price. Once again, um, you know, it, it makes the knife valuable. I think something like this Emerson is a good example where you have D2 tool steel for the blade. You have a good design, a solid design, something that is very much Emerson inspired, even though this isn't a direct Emerson itself uh, or direct Emerson design. You know, this is very much inspired by an Emerson uh, or inspired by and designed by Emerson themselves. And once again, your materials and your build quality are there. Now, once again, when it comes to Chinese knives, the uncomfortable truth that a lot of people don't like to talk about is the fact that, once again, if you are paying a lower price, you are likely getting lesser quality uh, at some point or in some piece. And so what that means is either your build quality is going to be lesser, your materials will be lesser, or something. You know, they're, they're not going to be able to bring you a $400 knife for $200 and it'd be exactly the same. Once again, if your materials are the same as the $400 knife, then your build quality will likely be lesser. That doesn't necessarily make it unusable, and that's kind of where I'm trying to come at with this video, you know. It doesn't make this knife unusable, but certainly it does lack refinement that American knives would have. Now, ironically, Emerson is kind of a poor example because the Emerson, American-made Emersons, are not always known for their high build quality either, but by, by and large, when we're talking about American manufactured knives over Chinese manufactured knives, the biggest reason why American manufactured knives are more expensive is because we have to pay our workers more. I mean, we have things like minimum wage in all 50 states, and it is different prices in different places, but that means at minimum, we have to pay our workers and manufacturers of knives more to get the same product. And so oftentimes that is alone what some of the price equates out to being. And usually the finishing job or the end product is better. Once again, I say usually because like I said, companies like Emerson are not the best example. But um, yeah, so that's, I think, the biggest thing to boil down. And uh, once again, with something like this, you know, CQC6, you know, it, it is a good 
I would say good value equation. If you can get one for 40 to $50, I got mine, like I've said in previous videos, for around $37. And I think especially at a price point like that, it's very hard to argue the materials, the build quality, and the overall design are definitely, in my opinion, worth around 40 bucks for this guy. Now, once again, something to note, while you can see how fast and clean this uh, you know, knife fires out of its handle, you know, it is riding on Teflon washers, which does make it very smooth, but it's one of those material things to be mindful of because Teflon washers, unlike something um, like ball bearings or something like stainless steel ball bearings or um, phosphorus bronze washers are going to last a very, very long time. Teflon will not, and not only does it not have the same life as metals, it also it runs the issue of being um, solvent, solvent sensitive. And so if you use the wrong solvents to clean and or lubricate your um, knife, the Teflon, the Teflon washers can be damaged in that process and or ruined. So, you know, it's one of those things where you have to be mindful of the materials. And once again, I'm not saying that these should have phosphorus bronze washers for the price point. I think that would be a big ask, but at the same time too, it would be nice. But yeah, so you just have to be mindful of things like that. And I think that that's the, the reality of Chinese knives is that there's something you are always sacrificing something when you don't pay the full price or once again if you're getting a $400 knife in materials for $200 then that means your workmanship is going to be lower and so you know it just is one of the things that you have to be mindful of there's really no such thing as a free lunch or a super good deal at least direct to consumer. Now, once again, I myself included have gotten good deals, you know, in the secondary market where, you know, someone's just trying to get rid of a blade or blades and they make you a good deal. That's a little bit different. And in that regards, you can get good deals. But if you're buying, you know, direct from a, you know, manufacturer um, or direct to consumer, you know, you are going to be paying the price that they want you to pay within reason. Now, once again, too, there might be some closeout deals. And let's say, you know, a, a knife shop is closing their doors uh, like they have, like certain knife shops have in the past. There are some times when you can get good deals, but even then, most of the time, you're gonna be getting it at what the dealer bought it for. And, um, you know, once again, that's still the company themselves that sold it to that dealer are trying to make a profit and the dealer themselves are trying to make a profit. So even if you don't get it for, you know, MSRP, but you get it for dealer price, you're still paying more than, uh, so you're still paying, you know, that marked up fee for what the manufacturer wanted for that blade. So anyways, you know, I'm not going to get too business and ranty in this video. I'll talk more about Chinese knives in future videos. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully that kind of breaks it down for me. You know, it's, it is rather a simple equation for me. That's why I don't own a lot of Chinese knives is that the value really has to be there. And for me, that value equation is materials, design, and quality all have to line up and be within a certain degree for a set price. If I don't feel that the materials, the build quality, and the design are in a particular, like if I don't feel that they're good enough for say $200, then I just won't buy them. And I think that does also translate to American knives too. Although I will say there are some exceptions like these Emerson's where I really don't think that they are worth $200 personally, but I do want an Emerson bad enough in my collection for the history and nostalgia. I'm willing to pay more than what I feel this knife is worth because at the end of the day, something like this Kershaw or something like this CRKT are, they, they don't really have any history. They don't have any historic value. And don't be wrong, like this is still partly an Emerson, but it's not a true Emerson. This is also a Voxnay's design. Um, so, you know, Jesper was involved in this knife, but this is not a true Jesper uh, Voxnay's like knife, right? So anyways, that's kind of my opinion on that. And so anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.